King Rune KP, KP3S. Well, I'm going to do a little upgrade to my King Rune KP3S printer here. I'm going to be putting a PEI bed on it, the little magnet thing here to replace the glass bed. I've already done it on my other one. Uh, put the linear rails on this one, made it into the what they call the pro version. Uh, but I haven't done this bed on it yet. So, Thought I'd uh, kind of take you along for the ride. This is actually pretty easy. You're just a little adjustment you need to make to the uh, limit switch adjustment or screw elevator thingy here, which I'll show you in detail. So let me get you uh, zoomed in on this and I'll show you what we're doing. Well, first take the glass bed off. And yes, I know there's supposed to be four clips, but I one of them broke, so now I only have three. But I'm, I won't be using this anymore anyway. Now yours may have a plastic film over this. Um, I already peeled that off. I was starting to do this here uh, a couple weeks ago, but the PEI plate they sent me was like way the wrong size. So one of the first things we need to do is make sure this is absolutely clean. So what I've got here is some uh, isopropyl alcohol and your basic paper towel. And these little pump things here you can get at your local Dollar Tree in the makeup department and they're real handy for things like this. So I'll make sure this is all good and clean. And I'll give that just a moment to dry. This uh, PEI plate is double sided, so you could use either side of it. So this is a magnet sheet, and it has a protective paper on the back here. I need to peel that off and then place it on my bed here. And try not to touch the adhesive with my fingers. And next is make sure I get a square on here. So that wasn't so tough. I'll set my sheet on here. Now I'll need to make some uh, bed leveling adjustments here. And I know one of the first things I'm going to need to do is adjust this uh, screw right here for how far the travel is. So I need to get me a cord plugged in here so I can get some power to this. See how far down that travels. Okay, I'll turn this on. We'll see how well I can do this from the back without being able to see what's going on up there. So I want to go to move. I want to send everything home first. Make sure I hit home all there so I can take everything home and see where I'm at. So the nozzle is... Uh, quite a ways from the bed because the there's a huge thickness difference here so what I can do is the screw right down here where the limit is sitting on right now I need to turn that down a little bit to let this travel farther down and I'm going to turn my knobs up here too and it's running out of adjustment on this back corner also if you're putting one of these printers together for the first time and you're having trouble uh, with your leveling and you're, you're running out of space or you, you can't get it up too far, that's what this screw right here is for, this adjustment. I don't know if I can turn that with my fingers or not. Yeah, I guess I can. Maybe. I'll turn that down about one full turn. Now I'll take this home. If you get off to the side and look through this way, you'll be able to see how close that nozzle would be to the bed, as it actually homes off the bed. And boy, I still got a ways to go. 
Now I'm a little closer and I can proceed with the actual bed leveling. Okay, so after playing with this quite a bit, of course it was off camera, uh, you can only turn that screw down so far and, and after, once you get past that point, it, uh, the limit will never make. So what I'm going to have to do, because I'm out of adjustment here on my bed, I need longer springs. And I think I have some. Screws are plenty long, it's just the springs aren't long enough. So what I'm going to need to do here is take all my little thumb wheels off. Then once I've got my thumb screws off, I can lift up my bed and let the little springs fall down all over the place. Here and see what I got for longer springs. These definitely are not long enough. Now right here are my choices in springs. This here is the ones that were on it. And I've got some of these little silver guys that are slightly taller, but they are not near as stiff. There's, I don't know if I can get the right, well, I might be able to get the right compression. And then I have this one here that's even taller, but that one may be too long. So, try this out. I think I'll start out with this little silver guy and see how they do. I've got a lot of them. Well, after playing with this a little bit, I, I did opt for the uh, longer orange springs, the longer and stiffer ones. So we'll get this home, then I'll try the leveling procedure again. Even with all four corners set pretty much perfect, the, the center is still just a little bit high. I mean, the, my paper does slide in there. It's not like it's jammed, but it, it's a little stiff in there. So I'm going to move this back over where it belongs and uh, run a file on it. We'll see what it does. Of course, I'm shooting this from across the room, but uh, so far it looks like it's working okay. No glue or anything on there. It's just a brand new PEI bed. And it appears to be laying everything down good. I also changed the bed on my uh, Ender 3 V3 SE to a PEI and I will show you why here in just a minute. So what are my reasons for switching these PEI beds? Well, Print removal is a lot easier, and I don't have to mess with any type of uh, adhesive on the bed. Uh, I do use glue sticks on the glass beds up here because the uh, ambient temperature is not real high in the wintertime. In the summer, I don't really have to mess with it much. Uh, glass beds work fine. It's not a problem there. It does leave a smooth, fairly smooth finish. Now, why did I change the uh, bed on my brand new Creality Ender 3 V3 SE? Well, because by the time I got about halfway through the second spool, running through that printer, finish started coming off of the uh, plate that came with the printer, you can see here. So what I did in the meantime was I just turned it over and used a glue stick and used the other side of it until my PEI bed got here, and my PEI plate. So uh, easy to get them, it's 220 millimeter square, they're all over Amazon, lots of places you can get them. And it's also double-sided, so if one side gets screwed up, I can flip it over. But uh, this printer, this Creality printer, isn't all that old. Like I said, this is only this, uh, it's on the third spool now, but the second spool threw it about halfway. Picked this up, gave it a flex, print popped off, and so did the uh, finish on here. So I don't know what the deal was there, it, how this is supposed to be bonded on there, but it, uh, it didn't stick. So anyway, there's how I uh, changed the bed on a, a King Rune KP3S printer from glass to PEI. I had to do a little bit of uh, monkeying around there with the, putting some longer springs in it. Because the bed was thinner, I ran out of adjustment on my screw for the uh, Z-axis limit. But hopefully you uh, understood everything I did there. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. There's no sponsors here. I will put a link in the description on where I got that PI plate. It was not from King Rune, it was on Amazon. So, 
Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.